بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ایوری باڈی اینڈ نو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دا نیکسٹ ٹاپک آف دا چیپٹر لیکوڈس ڈیٹ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا لیکوڈ کرسٹلس دس ٹاپک از ویری امپارٹنٹ ود رسپیکٹ ٹو دا شارٹ کویسچنس لانگ کویسچنس ایون ود رسپیکٹ ٹو دا ایم سی کیوز سو آئی ول ریکمینڈ یو ٹو لسن دس لیکچر ویری کیئرفلی لیٹ اس فرسٹ ڈسکس دا انٹروڈکشن آف دا لیکوڈ کرسٹلس There was an Austrian botanist named Frederick Rentizer. He was experimenting with the cholesterol benzoate. Cholesterol benzoate is a derivative of the cholesterol and it is a crystalline solid. It was in 1888. He heated the cholesterol benzoate which is a crystalline solid. Now at 145 degree C, this crystalline solid melted and it changed to a turbid, turbid means thick cloudy liquid. That was a thick milky type liquid in which this crystalline solid cholesterol benzoate changed at 145 degree C. This 145 degree C is called as the melting temperature because at this temperature the cholesterol benzoate melts. <clears throat> now when this turbid cloudy liquid was further heated at 179 degree C it changed to a clear liquid just like a normal liquid transparent liquid now this 179 degree C is called as the clearing temperature because at this temperature it has become clear from cloudy Rentizer was very surprised that between these two states of matter between these two crystalline solid and clear liquid between these two states there is a third state that is the turbid cloudy liquid so he started studying this liquid he found surprisingly that this state which is the intermediate state of crystalline solid and clear liquid. I am repeating it. This state is the intermediate state of the crystalline solid and the pure clear liquid. When he examined this turbid cloudy liquid, he found that this state of matter has some properties of the liquids like it has viscosity of just like the liquids it has surface tension just like the liquids it can flow mean it has fluidity just like the liquids so these are the three properties that match with the liquids of this intermediate state if you do not have any idea of viscosity or surface tension please do watch my lectures about the viscosity of liquids and surface tension of liquids now these are the properties that match with the liquids but there are some properties of this intermediate state that also match with the crystals like somewhat ordered arrangement of the particles and especially the optical properties these are the properties of this intermediate state that match with the crystals so keeping in view this thing that it has some properties that match with the liquids and some properties that match with the crystals now it was named as liquid crystal so after introduction let us now define what is liquid crystal liquid crystal is an intermediate state of the crystalline solid and pure liquid state or you can also define it as liquid crystal is a state that exists between two temperatures one is the melting temperature and other is the clearing temperature no these processes are reversible mean when this clear liquid will be cooled it will be again changed to turbid cloudy liquid and when it will be cooled it will be again changed to the crystalline solid and it is not only the cholesterol benzoate which shows this intermediate state during heating but there are so many other crystalline solids that also show this intermediate state which is called as the liquid crystal <coughs> no the liquid crystals they usually have elongated rod shaped molecules something like this mean elongated molecule 
लिक्विड क्रिस्टल्स और ऑलवेज आइसोट्रॉपिक आइसोट्रॉपिक मीन डेट बाय चेंजिंग द डायरेक्शन देयर इंटेंसिटी ऑफ देयर फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज डेट इज नॉट चेंज सो इफ यू विल स्टडी इट इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शंस द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज विल रिमेन सेम दैट इज आइसोट्रॉपिक एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द ऑर्डर्ड अरेंजमेंट और द type of the ordering on the basis of the type of the ordering there are three types of the liquid crystals nematic liquid crystals symmetric and cholesteric obviously this cholesterol benzoate and all compounds related to it which are the cholesterol derivative they are included in the cholesteric liquid crystals if you are a student of grade 11 or 12 you are just going to keep the names of these three types in your mind that is enough but if you are having some higher study about the liquid crystal then you need detail of these three types which at least in this topic that is not required so these are the properties of the liquid crystal rod shaped isotropic and these are the types so introduction definition properties types now let us discuss the uses of liquid crystals there are liquid crystal thermometers actually liquid crystal consist of the layers of the molecules when white light is white light falls on these layers some of the wavelengths are diffracted just like the crystals also diffract the light so liquid crystals also diffract the light and when some of the wavelengths are diffracted the others are reflected so because of this diffraction and reflection of the wavelengths of the photons the liquid crystals they appear colored now when the temperature of the liquid crystal is changed the distance between the layers is changed and the wavelengths of the reflected light that is also changed due to which the color changes so in short i can say that by changing the temperature the color of the liquid crystals changes it means that liquid crystals then act as a temperature sensor they can sense the temperature change <clears throat> and liquid crystal thermometers they show digits of the different colors at the different temperatures and they are very commonly used in the labs even in the homes second one is the diagnostic use actually any part of the body in which there is cancer or there is any severe infection or there is blockage of any blood vessel artery or vein these three areas of the body they are usually hotter as compared to the rest of the body which is normal so liquid crystal will show a different color on these areas as compared to rest of the body in this way these three areas can be detected just like in case of the breast cancer the liquid crystals show blue color on the breast and this is a practical application and nowadays the breast cancer that is being detected with the help of the liquid crystals so that is its medical diagnostic use you have commonly seen lcd's liquid crystal displays in the electronic devices and in the laptops mobiles and these lcd's are based on the principle that when the temperature pressure or magnetic fields are changed there are weaker bonds between the molecules of the liquid crystal so that bonding arrangement also changes and due to which the different displays are obtained liquid crystal screens are used in the oscillographs in the tv that liquid crystal screens are used then in the chromatographic separations chromatographic techniques liquid crystals may be used as solvents so <clears throat> you can say that when the liquid crystal was discovered it was just a lab curiosity for the different scientist at what this state of matter actually is but nowadays it is not a very much unfamiliar state but it is a widely used state of the matter you can say in the daily life it has huge applications and nowadays everyone at least knows about the lcd's they are the common use of the liquid crystal so it is not just a curiosity now that what the liquid crystals are but they are being practically used in the different fields This was all about the topic of the liquid crystals and next time inshallah we will come up with a new chapter that will be on the 
solids. Till then, Allah Hafiz.